The images you're seeing are of workers at Sierra Pelada. It was a gold mine uh, that uh, closed in the late 80s or 90s, I think, I forgot. But I want you to look at those images really, really closely. Look at those men. Mm -hmm. Those men, what do they look like? They look like slaves to me. Yeah, and they were wage slaves, see? See, at least in slavery, when, when somebody's a slave, when, when you are owned by another man, mm, well, that slave owner has certain responsibilities. He'll take care of you. Yeah. I mean, if only because of his self-interest, because he wants to keep you as a good worker, he'll take care of you. He'll, he'll uh, make sure that you have a, 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 a decent place to sleep that's warm in the night and that you're well fed, if only so that you'll be a productive worker for him, you know. You'll be a slave, but at least a semi-comfortable slave, right? But in the neoliberal liberal democracy ideology that we're living under, right? You know, a wage slave. Mm, the corporate masters don't really give a shit about you, about your well-being. All they care about is that you perform and they pay you your salary. Your salary, your wages. Being a wage slave is the absolute worst thing that you can possibly do with your life. Never be a wage slave. And let me explain why. You see, time is the thing that's most precious to you. As, as a young man, you're not going to realize this. Because when you're young, pff, you're a fucking moron insofar as time is concerned. You're, you're like, a, like, like a lottery winner blowing money on doodads, you know? Yeah, when you're young, you waste time in all kinds of unproductive and stupid shit. I mean, like video games and porn, for instance, right? I mean, you're jerking off, you know, six hours a day, probably, for crying out loud. Jerking off in, in the literal sense and also the metaphoric sense of just wasting so much goddamn time on shit that is so stupid, that is so unproductive, that is so, uh, you know... Why exactly do you have to play some fucking video game for like uh, 40 hours after it comes out, huh? I mean, really? Do you really need to play that fucking video game? No! No, you could do a lot of other things that are much more productive with your time, right? But no, when you're young, you blow time left and right. And when you're young, because you have so much time, and you think to yourself, well, I've got my whole life ahead of me, right? You got so much time that you wind up blowing your time on stupid shit or selling your time for peanuts, for chump change. I mean, like, you're 16, you know, 17, and you're working at McDonald's at your first job, and you're getting paid, I don't know, 10 bucks an hour or 15 or whatever the fuck they pay at McDonald's nowadays, right? And you think, man, I'm getting paid, isn't this great? You know, I'll work, you know, like three, four hours after school, you know, and, and during a week, that'll be 20 hours, and that'll be like 300 bucks a week. Yay! You're thinking, you fucking idiot. Yeah, but, you know, 300 bucks is nothing, man. Yeah, but you don't know that. So you, you decide to be a wage slave because you're young and you don't know any better, right? And then you decide that you're going to go to college so that you can get some good profession and you wind up going to college and maybe to law school. And so you're going to be a lawyer and you say to yourself, man, I'm going to make so much money, man. I'm going to make like $300 an hour because I'm going to be an attorney, a corporate attorney. I'm going to make 300 bucks an hour. Motherfucker, that's a lot of money, right? No, it isn't. It is not a lot of money. Now think about it. Make do the math. You know, three hundred bucks an hour, and say you you can bill those three hundred bucks an hour. Say I don't know. Uh, say say let's make it generous, like twenty five uh, hours a week, and that's that's generous, okay? And and people who are attorneys will will tell me that I'm right on that issue. Twenty five hours a week that you can bill it at three hundred dollars uh, an hour, right? That's what seventy five hundred dollars a week. That's uh, what thirty grand. A month, roughly, uh, and thirty grand in a in a, a month is what three hundred sixty thousand a year. That sounds like a lot of money, right? You're making three hundred sixty thousand a year. Yeah, but that's as good as it's going to get for you as a wage slave. Three hundred sixty grand a year, you know. And the tax man he takes on between what a third and half of that. So you're going to wind up with uh, what two hundred thousand, roughly, right? And 200,000, you think that's a lot of money? Mm, it's not. It's not real money. Uh-uh. Yeah. And that's being a corporate attorney who's a successful one. Okay? That, that's the best you're going to do. 
200,000 a year net, right? That is not a lot of money. It, it sounds like it, especially when you're young and you don't know any better. It sounds like a lot of money, but you get older and you start to realize that 200,000 a year, not really making it, not really doing it for you because you're going to have expenses. You're going to have expenses. You're going to have the woman, the kids, the house, the mortgage, you know, the car payments and, and this, that, the other. You're going to need a lot of fucking money. And 200,000 is not enough. But see, that's what you're doing as a wage slave. You are selling your time for money as opposed to using your time to leverage the situation and make a lot more money. See, uh, l l let's take these two examples. L let me give you two examples. Suppose you decide you're, you're 20 or, or 25, just to make it easy. You're 25 and you decide that you're going to work at McDonald's. Just say it. you're going to work at McDonald's, right? And you're going to work and you're going to get f paid 15 bucks an hour. Right. That's as good as it's going to get for you. But suppose you're 25 and decide, you know, I'm not going to work at McDonald's. Instead, I'm going to set up a McDonald's franchise. I'm going to get other people to sell me their time. And I'm going to use their time to create a business. How much money do you think you'll make then? Hmm? My guess is you're going to make a lot more. Suppose you're an attorney and you say to yourself, well, you know, I can make uh, 300 bucks an hour, but if I set up a firm and hire other wage slaves, hire attorneys who are willing to sell me their time for 200, 300 bucks an hour and hire those fucksticks and set up my law firm and get clients, well, I'm going to make a lot more than 300 bucks an hour, right? Yeah, because yeah. I'll be able to, from every 300 bucks an hour for these lawyers, I'll be able to get maybe uh, 50 bucks. But I'll have a dozen lawyers, two dozen lawyers, three dozen lawyers. I'll have a whole staff of lawyers. And all of a sudden, I'm going to be making much more than 300 bucks an hour. I'm going to be making limitless amounts of money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But so many guys, especially when they're young, they don't think that, like that. They think that, oh, you know, I will sell my time for X amount of dollars. I will sell this very finite resource that I have, a finite resource, time, that I can never get more of, no matter how rich I become. Because once I've spent time, it's gone forever, and I can never get it back. The time is in my rear view mirror. It's not like, you know, like, oh, I gained weight and, oh, I can lose weight again. Or, you know, I, I forgot uh, German that I learned in high school. Oh, I could pick it up again. Uh-uh. It doesn't work with, like that. Not with time. Time is the one resource that once you spend it, it's gone for good. And so you're going to be selling it for 15 bucks an hour, 100 bucks an hour, 300 bucks an hour maybe. But you're selling this finite resource for a fixed amount of money. You're a wage slave. And other people own you. Other people tell you where to go, what to do. They tell you, you know, hey, buddy, why don't you go and uh, hop over there or hop over here or do this, do that. Yeah, maybe you're, you're in a nice suit. You're walking around with a really nice suit and, and, and staying at nice hotels. And, uh, you know, maybe you're driving a nice car and living in a nice house. Yeah, but you're a fucking slave. No different from those gold miners. You're a, a, a gold mining slave in a nice suit, staying at a nice hotel, but your life is not your own. And the company that's paying you, mm, your corporate masters, they don't give a fuck about you. you. You drop dead of a heart attack, you think that they're gonna do anything? They might send you flowers. Great, they'll send you flowers. Terrific. Yeah, they'll send you flowers and they're gonna replace you. Yeah, they're not going to give a shit about you. They're not going to look after your health. They, they are only going to be looking at you as a liability now that you are no longer functioning. Know that now that you are no longer a functioning slave that they can milk. Yeah, that's the truth of the matter. 
They do not give a shit about you, no matter how much money they're paying you. You're just a fucking slave and a discardable slave. Because like I said at the beginning, man, if you were truly a slave owned by another man, he would take care of you. But in our corporate environment, in this uh, liberal democratic uh, capitalism that we have, fuck off, motherfucker. You are no longer productive, therefore you are no longer useful. So to the fucking garbage heap with you, motherfucker. That's how it is. And that's the truth of it. So if you're gonna be a wage slave, then you better fucking know what you're in for. Nobody's gonna give a shit about you. You're gonna have no autonomy whatsoever. The second you malfunction, you are gone. And there will always be an upper limit to how much money you can make. And, and worst of all, and I think as a 50 year old man, this is the thing that, that, uh, that, that shocks me the most. See, you are trading away time. And believe me, you, you think that there are other resources that you have that are more important. No, 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 man. I'm here to tell you because I know, okay, I know this for a fact. Time is the thing that is most valuable in your life. Everything else is secondary. And you are going to be paying so much fucking attention as you age to the time you spend. And you're going to be thinking to yourself, how on earth did I blow so much fucking time on so much stupid shit? How? I mean, I think back on it, you know, when I was 14 and the times I played fucking Galaga and Miss Pac-Man, I played hours of those fucking games. On top of that, I had to pay for the fucking games, right? Pay for it with my shitty little newspaper delivery job. I actually had one of those. And I blew so much fucking time instead of doing other things that were more productive, reading better books, more books, you know, making better friends, doing things that were more important. But no, you know, I blew time because I was young and stupid. I didn't realize, as I realize now, that time, time, it's the thing that is most valuable. So don't misuse it and don't be fool enough to, to sell it for a few measly dollars. You can do better. You can do better. And like I've said, what you can do is, you know, you wake up and realize that time is valuable and, and realize that you can get other dickhead, loser, fuck sticks to sell you their time. Let them be the wage slaves and you the slave master. Fucking A.